Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh for giving us this truth. Double honor to all the elders, teaching on the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth and sincerity to you. I'll say shalom. Brother Khan from the south of the Lions of Judah, just around here in Chicago to you. I'll say shalom. Coming at y'all with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh The title of this video is going to be titled, Simon the Canaanite was an Israelite. Colossians 3, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh giving thanks to the Abba and the Father by him. So now dealing with Simon the Canaanite, and we're going to prove thoroughly through the scriptures that he was an Israelite. It's the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 14, and it reads, and he ordained 12 that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach. And the 12 is the disciples and Simon the Canaanite being one of them. Verse 15. And to have power to heal sickness and to cast out devils. And Simon, he surnamed Peter. And James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, and he surnamed them born of Jesus, which is the sons of thunder. Verse 18, and Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon, the Canaanite. Okay, so we're going to deal with the etymology of the word Canaanite. It's the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 15, and it reads, Matthew and Thomas and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot. Okay, so it went from calling him a Canaanite to a Zealot. So now we got to go into the Strong's to see what these words mean. This is Strong's G2581, Canaanitis, Canaanias, Can Canaanite. What do it say? Zealous, the surname of Apostle Simon, otherwise known as Simon Zealous. Okay. So in this definition of word Canaanite, it means zealous or zealot. So now when you go to this definition of the word Canaanite in the Strong's, it reads H3669, and it says descendant of inhabitant of Canaan. Okay, so clearly these are two different definitions. And when you read in the New Testament, when it when it uh, refers to Simon as the Canaanite, it's only there twice. All right. So now we're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. See, you have to know the etymology of these words. You have to go into the Strong's. You got to go into the Greek. You got to go into the Hebrew to to be able to be real, uh, a well-rounded teacher, Salakia. Okay, this is Matthew 10 and 5, and it reads, These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that Yahweh shall would have knew that Simon the Canaanite was not an Israelite. Therefore, he knowing that he was an Israelite, he told his disciples not to go to the other nations, man. All right. Second Edris, chapter one, verse 21. And it reads, I divided among you a fruitful land, which is the land of Israel. I cast out the Canaanites, the parasites and the Philistines before you. What shall I yet do more for you, saith the Lord, Yahweh, So the most high cast out among us the Canaanites. So ain't no, way, ain't no way that Simon the Canaanite is an actual Canaanite. Because the most high said that he cast them out among us. Okay. Zechariah 14, verse 21, and it reads, Yea, every pot. In Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness until the Lord Yahweh Shemiah will shall host. 
and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and see therein. And in that day, there shall be no more Canaanite in the house of the Lord. Yahweh. OK, so ain't no way in hell when Yahweh pop up on the scene is it is an actual Canaanite. That's not an Israelite. OK, so that's why you got to go precept upon precept, line upon line here, a little and there, a little. So. The word Canaanite that was referred to Simon, it means zealous or zealot. So he wasn't an actual descendant of the damn Canaanites, man. Okay, he was an Israelite. You know, it's that simple. Like I said, when you go to Strong's H3669, it's a different definition from Strong's G2581. Because this word for Canaan, night, it means descendant of inhabitants of Canaan. Example three, descendant or inhabitant of Canaan. Verse, example four, a merchant trader. Okay. You know, so like I said, that's why you have to study these scriptures, man, because you can get confounded by a damn Christian if you don't study well, uh, well, and you, uh, and you, and you well rounded with these, with the words of the Bible, man. You could get confounded out here because they could just use this instance or, or this example and try to say that um, that the kingdom is for everybody because. Simon was not a, he was not an Israelite because he called him a Canaanite. Well, wasn't the Israelites called Greeks in the New Testament? Wasn't Paul called a Roman? Okay. Because Israelites, we have been scattered through the four corners of the earth. Okay. We've been among every single nation and we are not, we are on the bottom of society. Okay. So the gospel is only for the nation of Israel. Let's prove that. This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22, and it reads, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Let me read that slowly. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Okay. So salvation is of the Jews and Simon that was called the Canaanite was an Israelite. Okay. So let me get this again. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 1, verse 21. And it reads, I divided amongst you a fruitful land. I cast out the Canaanites and the Parasites and the Philistines before you. So once again, the Lord cast out three nations among Israel. So why would Yahweh Shai go and handpick an actual Canaanite to be his disciple? It makes no sense. It make the Bible country. So like it, it make the Bible seem like it's contradicting itself when it's not. So you have to go into the Greek. You have to go into the Hebrew and you have to go into the, the lexicons and, and, and the strongs. Because like I said, you can 
easily get confounded by a Christian if you're not studied and you're not in these in these scriptures like that. OK, so once again, Luke chapter six, verse 15, it reads Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus and Simon called Zealots. OK, so right here, he wasn't called a Canaanite. So this right here is a this either this scripture is contradicting. What's that? Mark the third chapter and the 18th verse or obviously you don't know how to comprehend or break down or go into the etymology of words. OK, because once again, the surname of Apostle Simon, otherwise known as Simon Zealots. OK, so right here in this instance, the word Canaanite means zealous. And when you look up the word zealous, it means to be on fire or serious. OK, about something. So once again, with that, I hope this video was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Bashai. You guys can leave comments under the, um, the chat. And um, once again, this video is for those who have an ear to hear because obviously everybody is not going to get it. So with that, Shalom.